What's going on folks? Welcome back to another Scum video. I hope you're all doing well. A very warm welcome indeed. Now ladies and gents, this video is going to be for new players and for players who have taken a very, very long break from the game because building a shelter and spawning back to it has completely changed. And also I am seeing a big jump in numbers with Scum as a lot of people are starting to find the game. And I think this is going to be the best tutorial for you. So if you do appreciate this video and you want to help other people and new players come to the game and get these tutorials, then please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. Possibly leave a comment. Let me know how you thought of the video um, or how it could have been done different. So now, ladies and gents, just before we get into this here, uh, I just want to give my uh, sponsor a quick shout out, Ping Perfect. So if you check out the affiliate link down below, you will find uh, a link there for Ping Perfect, which will give you 10% discount for your first month. Um, and that is for huge titles, guys, and many, many more, which you hopefully can see on the screen right now. Um, and their support is absolutely phenomenal. They have an incredible support uh, system over there. Uh, so please be sure to go check that out. Also, I do have my own scum server, RKG, and the Discord for that is down below if you want to go check out our introduction rules and everything as well. And we don't have admins that play on the server, and their support is absolutely incredible. So please come and check out our server as well. Okay, so we're going to build our first shelter, ladies and gents. So if you click tab and click building at the top, and then on the right-hand side, you're going to see, if you when, once you scroll down, you're going to see blueprints, no skill, and you're going to see these two. So if you see these two that I'm actually clicking between right now, these two do exactly the same thing. But there is a difference. Um, the items that I use are different. So if you look at this shelter here, you can see on the top left, you can see I use a whole bunch of items to craft that. If you look at the improvised bed, you can see that I'm using a whole different bunch of items to craft this as well. Now, the difference between these is literally just aesthetics and obviously what you need to actually build them because you can still spawn on these guys. This is basically what these are, they're spawns. But the shelter is better uh, for outside because it is better camouflaged if you haven't got a base and you just want to put this in a bush somewhere. Um, so what I'm going to do today, because this one's fairly easy to build the improvised bed and that's going to be going in your base once you've actually crafted that or built your base rather. Uh, we're going to go for the shelter. Uh, and I'm going to explain everything that you're going to need to get to this point as well. So let's have a look. So if you look around you, you're going to find these little stones. Uh, let's have a look at these little stones here. Search for rocks. So if you hit F on these rocks. Now you can go around these rocks as well. And you can get more searches from them. You just need to go around and get the right spot. And you can just keep hitting F over it. Now, if you hit tab, go to inventory. Once you've got two here on the floor, just go to crafting. And at the top, you will find a stone knife. So craft your stone knife. This will give you your first cutting tool uh, because we haven't gone to towns and found any knives or sharp items or axes or anything. Um, this is where it begins. So, and this is why I love scum, by the way, guys, because you can craft so much stuff already in the, in, in the forest before you go anywhere. So drag the knife to your hands. And now what we need, we need sticks because we now need to craft ourselves a stone axe because we need to cut down a tree to get a log. And also we're going to be getting more items from the axe because it's a better cutting tool. So once we get the axe, we can actually cut down and get more items from them. So hold over, uh, hold F over the bush and cut. Now, as you can see, we've got some sticks on the floor. So you can see we have a long stick. Now, put the long stick in your inventory. And also, do the same thing for the rocks because you will need another two small stones. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to crafting and I'm going to craft a small stone axe head, which you can see up here. Now, all we need now is some rope. So we need a long stick, a rope, and the small stone axe head to craft ourselves a stone axe, which you can see up the top there. So we're going to leave that on the floor for a minute, that uh, small stone axe head. And we're going to go over to this bush and we're going to cut this bush as well. So when doing this, if you do land in the middle of a field, try and go somewhere where you actually have a load of bushes. Because this is going to be very beneficial for you as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click that long stick on the floor and we're going to cut it into small sticks because we need a rope. Now if you want to make improvised rope, you need five small sticks to do this. So now we've got a load of small sticks, go to crafting. If you scroll down to no skill, you can see tree bark rope. Now you can also see that these uh, blocks here are grayed out, uh, are gray in the background, which means you have the items to craft this. So you can see in the top left, it's five small sticks and obviously the stone knife, which we have, right? So let's craft and this will craft the rope. 
And basically what's going to happen is, you'll see in any second now, if we scroll back to the top of crafting, you can see now we have the stone axe because we've got the rope, we have the sto small stone axe head, and we've got a long stick that we've put on our back as well. So if I go to the stone axe and craft, and then we can use this to start building our shelter. And we can do all of this practically from a tree, maybe two trees, because we're gonna need some sticks. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, put the stone ax into your hands, and there you go, left click, you can even use it as a weapon. Um, but it's a great tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move away from that area, guys, and we're gonna go downhill a little bit, and we're gonna go probably over here. I'm gonna cut this one down and then take it over to this tree. I'll, t I'll show you why in a second. So if you if you hold uh, or tap F over the tree, you're going to start cutting it down now. And uh, we're going to get a bunch of logs, but we're also going to get something called um, a, bund a branch, I think it's called. We'll just double check that in a minute. And uh, you'll see once it does this. So if you hit tab now, if you just walk forward a bit more into the middle of these logs. Uh, okay, so we've got a tree branch. So I need to carry that. So I'm going to put the stone axe on my back and I'm going to carry these tree branches. So, there's probably so many ways to do this, but this is just the way I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Um, now, I'm going to cut this tree down. Because we need a ton of long, long sticks for this shelter. Uh, and then once we start building the shelter, I'm going to explain how you actually use it. Because most people think it's very, very straightforward. But it's not. So, I'm actually going to show you another part of this video towards the end of what you're going to need to be able to spawn back to this because you need something that is very, very exclusive and new to scum right now, hence why I'm making this new uh, tutorial for you. Okay, so now we've got the sticks, we've got a bunch of logs and stuff. I'm gonna right click the sticks up there and I'm gonna chop tree branch. What this is gonna do, it's gonna make a load of sticks for you in long sticks and small sticks as well. Okay, so now we've got some sticks on the floor. And you can see if you move around, they do tend to jump around when you've actually like cut the branch up and they're all over the place. So you can see we've got a whole bunch here. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to building and we're actually going to place the blueprint because this is how scum works with blueprints. Now you can place that under a tree, as you can see, like you can hide it. I'm just going to place it out here for now so you guys can see it here. Um, now we've got a bunch of sticks around us, right? Big sticks and little sticks and logs. So just hit F. Just keep tapping F around it until you can see it start to fill everything up. So now it's showing that we just need the rope. Now we made the rope for the stone axe, didn't we? So we're going to do the same thing. Um, so as you can see, we've got five. Oh, we've got six small sticks there. So I'm going to craft a rope. And we're going to craft this. So you can see. I think we may need two of these. We may need two rope. And this is why I, I bought a, a, a bundle of sticks. Yes, so obviously... Now you can see why I bought this other bundle from the tree. So now I'm going to chop these ones up. We're going to make some more rope. And then we can place this in here. It is a little bit messy. I mean, there are other ways to do this. I mean, but this is this is kind of the process that I would most likely take. Um, if I was on a, on a server and I had to build one of these. Um, which you can see here. So I think these are a really good idea for those players who don't have a base especially. And you just want to have somewhere to uh, place a shelter to spawn back to. Uh, so you can see these long sticks. Now I'm just going to chop these up because we need another two rope. So we need, what is it, 20? I think we need three rope all in all for these. So I'm going to cut all these sticks up here. Because I need to make another two rope, which is going to use ten small sticks. So you can see we don't have ten small sticks yet. So we're going to chop these. And at least you guys can see it in real time on how to do this. So... Okay, there we go. Now we're going to chop up one more. And as I said at the beginning of the video, guys, if you are enjoying this, then please don't forget to hit that like button as well. Share it with friends, etc. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, come and check out my live streams I do during the week, uh, full time here on the channel as well. So we go back to crafting. We go back to the rope and craft. Wait for that to craft. And then we're going to build another one. And then what you're going to see is our shelter, hopefully. Right, here we go. There we go. So we just hit F on it. You can press Shift. I think it's Shift F. I think it's Shift F or Control F, and it will put all the items in. I haven't done that actually for a while. So as you can see here, guys, we now have our improvised shelter, uh, which you can see is it's a pain 
to make, but this one is better camouflaged rather than just having a white bed on the floor. So the white bed's generally for bases, inside walls, etc. Um, so you can see how this works. Now, in the top right-hand corner of the screen, please ignore my account balance and my gold, etc. right now because this is single player. So I mess around and I need to do things. So I've I've used the admin commands on single player here to put a ridiculous amount of money in there so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay, so to spawn back on shelter, guys, you will need gold. So that gold balance there, you won't need the money. You will, well, you will need the money to buy the gold, um, but you have to have gold. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to spawn to it. So I'm going to show you a little something here. So it says gold balance two, as you can see there. Now I'm going to press escape. I'm going to end life. And as you can see, it says here at shelter, one gold bar. So I'm now going to respawn. And now you can see my gold balance now says one. So right now, the gold is exclusively um, for spawning back to your shelter. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you guys something that you are really going to need to know. Um, I'm going to set God Mode here. God Mode is only for base building, guys, in this game. There is no... Um, you can't really do much else with it. It just enables you to fill in blueprints. So, for example, if I was to place this... Um, oh, okay, I can't place that. That's probably because I need um, a flag. So if I hit F on that, I can just build that automatically. Now, if I click on the shelter here, you can see, there you go. I've just built it instantly. But this is single player, and I'm, I'm basically using the admin commands to build this. Now, here's something that you guys will need to know. So we built this shelter. I'm now spawning back here. Now, if I was to build another shelter, I don't spawn back at the first one, and I cannot choose which uh, uh, shelter to spawn back to either. What you do is you sp always spawn back to your last shelter you made. So if I now go and place this, let's place a bed. Let's say I make one of these. Now I'm only going to spawn back to this one. And if I make another one, I'm only going to spawn back to this one. So all your other beds now become redundant, which means you aren't going to be able to use that. Now gold is purchased from the bank at the traders, ladies and gents, which means you will need to pay 5,000 um, for a card. Um, which is a gold card where you can actually purchase gold through because you won't be able to purchase gold through the other cards like the classic uh, card etc as well so you will need to have a gold card which means you need 5k so before you can start getting shelters and stuff like this you will need to make uh, some money to buy the gold card and then to purchase gold through that gold card as well um, because you won't be able to spawn uh, back at your shelter without the gold you can build a shelter all day long but you're still going to need that one gold. Um, so, I hope this video has helped you guys and girls. And uh, thank you very much for checking the video uh, out today. As I said, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. As it goes a million miles, as you guys know. Now, this is an updated guide for... <clears throat> pardon me. Um, for, obviously, the tutorial um, for building shelters and stuff. So, thank you very much for your time. Greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.